This past summer, I got to be a camp counselor at the same camp that I was a camper at before. And whenever I was a camper, there was one question that I would always ask. When are we doing blank? I would always ask it, or what time is this? And what time is that? Um, because I always wanted to figure out when we're going somewhere. I w I'm always the planner, and I love to know when we're doing this. And whenever we're here, then I'm fully here and all this stuff. But as a camper, they would never tell me. And I never understood it until I became a counselor. And that same rule is there as a counselor. And lo and behold, the same campers as I was the same age as them, they would always ask, when are we doing this? Do I need my swimsuit? When are we going to the water slide today? When will we be at the zip line? All these different things. And as a counselor, I can't tell them. And I never really understood why until I asked like the head counselor guy, and I asked him, why, why can we not tell the kids of what time it is and all this different stuff? And he said, it's to help the kids be fully present on where they're at. To have the most fun at the water slide because we're not gonna come back to the water slide. Have the most fun at the zipline slide because we are gonna have so much fun at the zip design. But then rest at lunch. Be there, don't be thinking about all these other things. See, and I realized, I took a step back and I realized if like, as a counselor, I knew exactly what we were doing today. I was not worried if we were gonna have fun today or not. I wasn't worried if we were gonna eat or not. I knew exactly when we would eat. I knew exactly when we would go the next thing and do this and do that. I knew we were gonna have so much fun. I knew if we needed a sunblock, I knew if we needed our swim shoes or our swimsuit and all the different things. And in the same way, God can look at us that way. In the same way, we can be coming to God and saying, God, do I need my swimsuit right now? Like, am I supposed to be married right now? Do I need my sunblock? Or am I gonna have fun at this next thing? What college am I supposed to go to? Am I supposed to do this? Am I supposed to do that? What, am, I, am I gonna have fun today? Am I gonna eat today? All these different things and we can worry and worry and worry and focus on the next season and the next season and the next season but never really be at where you are. And God is sitting there and he's like, just trust me. I know when all of this is gonna happen because I've gone before you and I've lived it. I've already lived today and I've already lived tomorrow and the next day and the next day. I know exactly what's gonna happen and I'm also so specifically present with you. See, whenever we are rooted in the season that God has placed us in, in whatever season that is, that's when we can fully grow. When we stop worrying about the next season, we can truly enjoy the season when we're in. Because if we're always wishing for the next one, and we're always wanting the next one, we'll never be happy because we'll always want the next one. We'll always be chasing after the next one but we can just enjoy in where we're at. We can trust in God. We can put our trust in God because he will make our path straight. See, in Isaiah 55, it says that his thoughts are above our thoughts and his ways are above our ways. And in the same way, I knew more about the day than the, cam than the campers did. And in the same way, God knows more about our life than we do. He will provide the wisdom and the knowledge in the season that we need it. He will provide the time and the space for jobs. He will provide the, the evidence of this is what school we're supposed to go to. He will provide the jobs whenever it is needed. All we have to do is sit and trust and pray to him and say, God, I laid this down in your hands. I knew if I took it, I could, I could not even do it. But God, you are so much higher than me. Your ways are so much better than my ways. Your timing is perfect, God. And this, this my life is meant to glorify you. So whatever season I'm in, if I'm single, if I'm dating, if I'm married, if I'm unemployed, if I have a job, if I'm not in college yet, if I'm in college yet, if I'm not in high school, or whatever season that you are in, God has you specifically there. So be specifically there, focusing on where you're at, 
sharing the gospel of where you are at, not wishing I was here, not wishing I was there, or wishing I had that many followers at that platform or whatever that. Be where you are. Trust in God. Trust in Him day by day. Wake up in the morning and God, I trust in you. I put my whole heart in your hands, God. And I know that you will make my path straight. That you will lead me to righteousness. That you will lead me beside still and quiet waters. And you will lead me to green pastures. Man, we can trust in God. Trust in God each and every single day is something that you will learn each and every single day. I have to continue to remind myself that. I do not do that perfectly whatsoever. I will be worrying about a job the next day or making a video or schoolwork or this or that or whatever it is. And I have to take a step back and look at it and be thinking, man, God's got it. God's truly got all of it in his hands. I can let go of it knowing full well that I am his child, that I can put my trust in him, and he's not going to let me fall. He's not going to let my, my foot strike a stone as it says in Psalm 91. He loves me and he cherishes me and he has an exceedingly and abundantly greater things than I could ever imagine. But all we have to do is let go and trust in God's timing and trust in where he has us and enjoy and rest in where he has you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Go and like this video and also comment whatever you want to hear. I always pray about what God wants me to speak um, in videos. And if you guys have questions or if you have comments or if you have whatever, if you just want to hear what God's putting on my heart or my own testimony, um, comment that down below. Uh, go and share this video. And if you want to see more, go and subscribe or just check out any of these other videos. Love you guys.